So the next topic, so as you can see here, we have here our uh, points, uh, which are very uh, large uh, size. They are overlapping also. So you can select one point or you can just go directly to the annotation scale. You can adjust it to 1 is to 500. Okay. And then if you remember, your uh, points have uh, the coordinates and the description, right? So if you select one point now, as you can see here, the top portion automatically changes. So it's called now the contextual tab. Okay, these tools are connected to this object, which we can edit or add a label. So if you'll select one point object here, I'll go here to point group properties. I have the option here, point label style. Let's say I want to show the elevation and description. So these are only the available option. So automatically we'll have the labels and elevation. I want you to try this that one first. So aside from changing the scale so that it will not overlap, so if you double check the value of your level, it is in two decimal places. Okay, so if you have a third, it's mm here. If you have nine mm, it's very big already. Okay, so this is the one because this template is using the default settings of Civil 3D metric NCS. Okay, so this is the one I was telling you that if you have already the standards in your company or you have already um, set it already, then you can use it directly uh, on the template. So what we need to do now, it's we will customize or we need to edit the settings of this one. So how to do that? Okay, if you left click here, Okay, we will left click the label or the point, go to point group properties again. Okay, here, in the label, so instead of edit current selection, we have the option here, copy current selection. Okay, let's say um, I want here, P-N-E-Z-D, okay, I'm sorry. Better, I'll use this option, description only. Okay, I'll, this is the one I will copy. And I want this one to contain P-E-N-Z-D. Okay, or P-E-P-E-N-Z-D to match, to match the CSV file. Okay, layout. Here in the layout, Okay, layout tab, you go here, okay, then, uh, sorry, this one point description, so we will rename this one to P-N-E-Z-D, okay, to change it here, okay, these settings will contain P-N-E-Z-D data, then here now, in the text, go to contents, go to the ellipsis button, or the three decimal uh, button here, left click, so P point number, this is good, okay, select, okay, select this one, okay, go here at the end portion, select enter, okay, to make sure that the next data will be placed below the description, and then look for the easting, then as you can see here, when you go to easting, change the precision to three decimal places, then arrow, okay, format, then let's say green, okay, we have the ST, again, go to the end portion, then select enter, and then, okay, go to properties, norting, change the decimal places to three, and then, don't forget the arrow button. 
then color let's say red just to differentiate it and then again okay elevation point elevation okay three decimal places that's good enter and then description uh, point number description or this one will be point number i'll change it to point number this one the end will be description okay this one i will have this one now <clears throat> say this one will be yellow it's good select okay as you can see here i have the point number okay we have the easting northing but you know we need to place an e right for easting and okay so we'll go back again here let's say for easting e okay let's say you place that one easting northing then point elevation el okay then okay so we will have this one now okay apply select okay As you can see here we have this one a new okay change this style you will get this one so that's how you can create a new style okay for uh, your point okay so i want you to do 